Welcome to the instructional video for authorizing your ArcGIS for Server products. In this video, we'll show you how to authorize your ArcGIS for Server products via the online method. We will be using a provisioning file we previously created via MyEsri. For more information, as well as an instructional video on how to create a provisioning file, please see our website. On your server machine, navigate to your server software authorization wizard. Depending on your operating system, this will be located in your ArcGIS folder, in the ArcGIS for Server folder, as the Software Authorization tab. Click this tab and ensure that you have admin rights as you will be making changes to your machine. The Software Authorization Wizard window opens. Select the third option, I received a file from Esri and I'm now ready to finalize the process. Click the Browse button to browse to your previously created provisioning file and click Open. Click Next to proceed. We will be authorizing with the internet as this is the quickest and easiest way to finalize your authorization. If you have limited internet connectivity or you're working within a restricted environment, select the second option to authorize at Esri's website or by email. Click Next to proceed and all the information you entered when you previously created the provisioning file will be visible. Confirm the information and click Next. Select each drop-down menu to enter the information for your organization, your industry, as well as your role. This will bring up the Next button. Click Next to proceed. The authorization number that was assigned to your provisioning file via your MyEsri site will be available. Confirm this number and click Next. If you previously entered extensions into your provisioning file, these will be visible under the Extensions window. If you do not want to enter extensions, select the top option, I do not want to authorize any extensions at this time. You can always come back at a later stage to authorize extensions. Click Next, and you will have the option to proceed with a once-off evaluation of any extensions. If you want to proceed, tick any of the relevant boxes and click Next. Now this will bring you to the software authorization window where it will finalize the processing of your authorization. By the end of this, you should receive a message that lets you know that your software has been successfully authorized.